Hello, it's Saku <laughs> and Mickey from Fear of Domination, and you are watching Duonello Magazine. Well, of course, it's been interesting to say at least, but uh, well, we can say there's been some time to do some self studying or self searching or some other bullshit if you want. But as for the band and for the music and for the, basically for the live show, it's been total crap. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's not 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 more to say about that. Yeah, but but today we got some good news from the government. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Did you look at the news? Yeah. Uh, from Valentine's Day, they, they are opening personally. All the restaurants bars. are and bars are open till eleven. Well, they can serve till eleven, and then. They have to shut down the twelve, and then first of March all the these restrictions. Yeah, there we are. So maybe some shows coming up. Ooh. Hopefully. <laughs> there are job. Well, I think that was pretty easy. Yeah. It was really easy because uh, Sarah introduced Jessica to us, and then we just tried it a couple of times, and now it's looking really good. So. And sounding really good. Yeah. I yeah. really love her voice. It's really. Aggressive one. Yeah, and also what is what 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 I think that uh, it's good because it's he she's voice is totally different than Sarah's voice. Mm. Where we wouldn't want even look for like a second Sarah. Well, there is only one Sarah, but uh, you know, and Jessica is different. Mm. Well, when focusing on the band practice, when the the whole band plays, I think it could go pretty easy. But yeah. of course, she has done tremendous amounts of work. For yeah. herself, for her own voice, and for her own part, and I'm pretty sure if you ask her, he will. <laughs> she will tell a totally different story. But uh, when regarding on the band stuff, everything has fine. Uh, went really smoothly, really yeah. fine, yeah, really easily. And uh, we had that uh, show at on the rocks, and it was her third show ever, ever mm -hmm. with any band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Just that was the bomb she dropped like uh, 15 minutes before the yeah. show. Oh, yeah. basically, this is my third show ever. Like, what? <laughs> But she did it really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was hot. <laughs> it was hot. <laughs> As we had to, we have have these masks nowadays, so it was first club show what we had, and, and it was a nightmare. I almost passed out like two times or something, and it it was it was <laughs> experiment. We had to make make some adjustments to our masks. Yeah, after that yeah, show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we had the uh, next show at Tampere on the next day and I uh, take the huge fan from our rehearsal place for me and change my outfit and everything all except the mask but everybody else is like a poking holes to the mask yeah. right? so they can breathe and yeah. <laughs> Amazing. but uh, it looked good yeah Jesse sounded really good the band sounded good and I think the whole band was a little bit nervous of course it was been mm -hmm. a Quite a while you know, since we last played yeah, together, yeah. and we just, it was the first show with Jesse for the band as well, not just Jesse with the band. Yeah, yeah. So all things considered, it was really good. It was really, really good. good, and yeah. it was really good to feel that we are back on the game, and we still are on the game, in the game. Yeah. I don't think there was any particular mm, mm -hmm. decision that no, we want to no. sound like this or that. I think it was more like the way the band, the band went. Yeah, and most of all, I think the main thing in that was the whole band was composing the album. Yes, yes. this is the first album that we didn't just Jonna or Lasse didn't just bring us nearly finished song, and after that the band just played their own instruments in it. That's it. That yeah. this time the whole band was in the process of making songs from the beginning. Yeah, from the point zero to the point one hundred, mm -hmm. and of course Thomas Kokko is her and her he is. <laughs> her, he's, her, he's. Hey, this is a gender neutral word nowadays, okay, so yeah. do not focus on that. Yeah. Nevertheless, uh, Thomas Kokko, the producer, did a really good job bringing out the things out from the songs that we didn't even hear first. Yeah. And he was like, no, we, did, we need more like this or that. And somehow we also found some, <laughs> some sick new metal vibe. Yeah, from somewhere. <laughs> so from, from somewhere, and we didn't even, there was no reason why we w would use like a new metal in our songs. But for some reason, when the album came, uh, when the album was finished, we were like, "This is pretty new metal." Yeah, <laughs> for yeah. some reason. Yeah, and then the album just you know we didn't uh, 
as Saku said, that we didn't make a decision that we have to go heavier or anything. It just built it up and it, it, it just went that way. Oh, and one main thing is also that uh, after a long, long while, Jan Erik Links yeah. composed some songs as well. Yeah, yeah. So there is like a new blood in there composing process as well. Uh, Tuomas was producing the Metanoia album as well, but not so, mm, let's say, tightly yeah. as in this project. Yeah. In Metanoia we had all the demos ready and we sent those to the Tuomas and this time Tuomas was working from the point zero as well. Yeah, and we recorded all the things on the, at Jyväskylä, his, his uh, studio, so... Yeah. Metanoia was like we recorded drums in Uvascula and all the other stuff was in our rehearsal place. Yeah, yeah, at our own place and yeah. then we sent it all to the Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was mixed in there. Now we basically did everything at Uvascula with Tuomas. I think it's basically, if, when talking about lyrics, it's always kind of that. For me, I, it's, it feels somehow weird or stupid to sing like a political matters or global matters or something like that. We can try to influence if we want, but I think it, the best influence we can do is in the people's minds, because we are just people singing songs for the people, so why why we try to go bigger than that? No need to reach too far. <laughs> <laughs> no need to sing about things that in at the end, in the end doesn't even matter, mm. because it, it all starts from here. Mm. Life is short, work in your mind first. <laughs> Whatever you want to play. <laughs> Maybe some leave of love thoughts yeah. or something like that. <laughs> that would yeah. be next album, Fear of Dominance, Leave of Love. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you the last set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it will be devastated. <laughs> And with that text, text, you want what the, all the yeah, stickers the cursive, yeah. <laughs> with the cursive plan. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. There you go, next album already yeah. planned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they say music is our stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> well, the whole recording session was was an experience, <laughs> to say at least. It was really. Well, nowadays music producing or making music is usually people are doing stuff at their own homes or own home studios or own something. Yeah. It's quite solo work, especially for the drums. You go someplace and just play the drums and that's yeah. that. But nowadays, uh, with this album, we really went, or the whole group went to the one location to decide and discuss about the songs, to compose the songs. And there was so much cooperation yeah. in every song. And I didn't think that was like really good thing for the band as well, yeah, yeah, because yeah. all those corona things coming out and uh, all those things that we didn't know what's going to happen, so it was really cool that we found something that yeah. we could do together, besides what the world was thinking. Yeah, yeah, and, and well, we had time to do it, because yeah. we didn't have any gigs or anything, so it just when we had the band rehearsals, we didn't rehearse, we just made the songs and stuff like that, so it, it was different. Different, but it was really, really refreshing way, and I think we should do next album as the same way. Yeah, with no pressure. Yeah, when it should be ready. Of course, at the downside, it was really strange to do an album because we didn't really know when it will be released, yeah. how the world will change, what will happen. Nobody really knew anything. Yeah. We had just heard that there's a pandemic going on, and nobody knew anything about the pandemic as well. So it might be one month, one year, one something. Yeah, and now it's like a two and a half years. Yeah, and it's with the, the album was, was supposed to release beginning of last year. Yeah, but it, it just it's just postponed and postponed. Yeah. yeah, and as a live band, live shows are really important for us in the marketing business or the promoting for the album. So, <laughs> in a way, it was the first time to release an album without any shows. Yeah, and that was weird. Uh, that was weird, weird and sad as well. Yeah, yeah. I think the main thing for the whole band, why we keep doing this, of course there's some multiple things, but the one main thing for every and each one of us is the life. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And when it's missing, it's really a big part from all of our lives. Yeah. So, yeah, it was really strange. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, well, some, some part of it was, uh, first of all, first it was like depressing and you know, you get depressed that all the, can the shows are cancelled and etc. But it, it was also some kind of relief because 
there was no pressure for the shows and and uh, also what what was uh, weird as we had the gig in, at, on the rocks, it was like a first show of my life. Yeah, because yeah. I got these uh, butterflies in my stomach, like I almost puke out and everything. And so it was like new experience also. Well, hot boxing your own head. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, first, first we made the first ones uh, with there is this material. It's called wall, 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 it's like a sheet of leather, but it's yeah. like hard. It's, yeah. it's pretty close to leather, but then you warm it up in yeah. your face and you can just start pushing it all the shapes you want. Yeah, and uh, the, you have to heat it. And uh, as I do the wrapping for the cars and the stuff like that, so I was like, you know, doing everything, you know, as Saku's face and everybody else's. But uh, then I made the, what it's called, death mask mm. for me and uh, uh, our bass players. Uh, girlfriend made made a uh, mask the new mask for me but the first one was by my uh, I made it by myself yeah the first demo version yeah yeah so now everyone's thinking they should have cut just big mouth holes in yeah the mask. yeah <laughs> and after the other rock show I got it what's <laughs> wider is my <laughs> mouth bar as for me and Jesse because we are singers we need to keep keep the mouth open so yeah. that's like the Relief part for us, yeah, but like, yeah. <laughs> and as, as I do, from do me, my you can see that sweat is pouring <laughs> yeah. under the mask. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, as I made the mask, I made the whole head. Yeah, <laughs> not just the face. Yeah. Oh, you're the drummer. Your head doesn't need to work, right? No, 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 no. no. It's the easiest part. Yeah, and I like when that your mask is always smiling. <laughs> when I see your eyes, they're kind of full of depression. <laughs> Especially on the on the rocks. Yeah, and like, on the rocks, like, please help I'm gonna me. fucking die here. It's my own. <laughs> Basically, ourselves. Of yeah. course, we sent on to the labels, and they told us their ideas as well. But basically, they, at the end, the decision was ours. But I remember when we were talking about amongst guns. It was like a, it was the Yordo song <laughs> in a way, and we wanted the first single to be something different. It's like a, I don't know, something a little bit like a. Deep Burger kind of sound. Yeah, and, uh, and that one, one thing was uh, that song, as I said before the, on the other interview, that it collects the, you know, the whole al album. Mm. You know. Yeah. You can. There is all the all the things. You know. In the one song. Yeah. And then the second Dive and Die. Well, that's like a, the most mainstream melody, melody, <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. I think. Mm. Most of all, it has really catchy yeah. uh, chorus. I think that's yeah. the main thing why it like, pop out for us that this is like an easy single for every, everyone. Yeah, and it was one of my favorite song in the album for like so. It, I, I, when, when I heard the, the first demo, I was like, this has to be the single. Yeah. This has to be a single. And uh, well, uh, when the time goes by, the manifest was my, this now my favorite. And the third rust, I think it went like uh, we went while well, I uh, won little bit more pop, a little bit more disco. Yeah. And uh, Rust has the most disco pop. Yeah. yeah. Chorus with the uh, leading female vocals and uh, yeah. everything like that. And also the Rust was because the album was supposed to uh, release in a, just before the Rust. That's why that's why we pick up the yeah. Rust and then the record company said we have to postpone the album so we have to take another one before the album. Mm. Yeah. So that that's why the Rust was the third one or something. I don't even remember. <laughs> Me like, neither. There's like so many new dates and new dates and yeah, new dates and yeah. like discussion after discussion after discussion and it was yeah. really really frustrating. Yeah, I have I had I have always always had this some weird thing in my head that I want number six on some um, album and it has to be we I and so I just said that can can this be only we I but then it just moves on and then the Revelation became and actually I don't even remember why why we built the name the Revelation. I think the band thought it might tell something about the album and yeah. and, the, and the label say that VI is good but it would be better if there would yeah. be something yeah. Yeah. describing the album as well. Yeah, and so, also it's so that we album. Had, yeah, then we yeah, six album was well like obvious but then then we added the revelation. Yeah, yeah. 
and somehow it's it it was that that it's different kind of it's kind of new era of the band so it, the name also and I like it how it sounds more like a chapter yeah yeah it's like a yeah. kind of book or something like that I think the main thing is that if the music is different so the artwork should be different as well this time uh, Thomas Rutkanen or Speckel or Spellgott whatever you want to call him uh, did all the album artwork yeah, and uh, yeah. single artwork and yeah. it was like a, he did, uh, he like a, Sort of the plan is from the from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and the, and the, those what it's called figures or what, what those are some aliens or yeah. whatever those are like drawings from Tuomas' fiance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. not fiance, wife. Wife. <laughs> wife. Wife. <laughs> wife. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Wife. Those like uh, sketches from uh, his wife. Yeah, that he added to the artwork as well. Oh, cool. Well. Technical wise, sure, and yeah. uh, visual wise, yes. Yeah. But I think you need to come to the show. We don't even know yet what it's gonna look like because <laughs> there hasn't been a show, so <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> we had your one last year, kind mm. of a team. We had like a last year. We had just one numero stream. Yeah. And that was like a hastily put together something something. Let's go. Let's make a stream. Yeah. And then we had three shows, and then everything. Yeah, went three. Yeah. And yeah. After that, oh, everything yeah. were closed again. So. And that so that makes the total of four shows in two years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And two festival seasons without any festivals. Yeah. So it's different. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, to uh, to answer your question, come to the shows, then you will see. Ooh. I think it's like a really hard to say if it's because of the lack of the promotion or the time or something like that. But I think. It should have gone a little bit better, in some ways as well. At least, little it's, bit. It's, it little, it's really, little bit. it's really hard to say what what really was the missing point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, it was the end end of the year after a really frustrating two years, and uh, I don't even know. Yeah, I think it that was like a, like a little bit of like a mm, not like admitting the defeat. It more like a we just want to release this album and get it over with and let the people hear it and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. After all those mm. rescheduling and all those yeah. postponings and like two years of wondering what will happen, I think there was like a little bit like a depression in the air. Yeah, and we just wanted to get it out mm. so we can focus on the new. Yeah, not not meaning that the album the album's fault or anything like that. It's more no, more like no. a, we just we just want to release it. Mm. You can't sit on that egg forever. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know. And there was like us, we had already re already released three singles, so. And after the third single, we had already like a nearly half a year mm -hmm. without anything, mm -hmm. without any shows, without any what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. If we want to be like a little bit smart asses after the release, maybe I would have released in the beginning of this year. Yeah, yeah, totally same opinion in my side. But it was like uh, we we were doing the best that we can do at the moment yeah, with yeah. the knowledge we had at the moment, mm -hmm. and of course labels uh, were really. As well, they were in the tight spot as well. Mm. They don't, mm. they don't have any crystal ball to tell them what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. Yeah. So. yeah. It seems that this flu is finally going away, and it seems that we are still alive. So come to the shows, enjoy the album. We have to fix our masks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Hope see you at the shows. Enjoy the album. Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs>